Lucid dreaming has long intrigued scientists, philosophers, and dreamers alike. This altered state of consciousness, where the dreamer becomes aware that they are dreaming, offers an unparalleled opportunity for self-exploration, creative problem-solving, and even emotional healing. For centuries, mystics and spiritual practitioners have sought to harness the power of lucid dreams, and in recent decades, scientific research has begun to unravel its mysteries. In this video, we'll delve into what lucid dreaming is, the science behind it, techniques for achieving lucidity, potential benefits, dangers, and its role in psychology. Lucid dreaming occurs when a person becomes aware that they are dreaming while still in the dream state. The term lucid refers to clarity, and in this context, it indicates that the dreamer has gained clear awareness that the experience they are having is not real, but a creation of their subconscious mind. While normal dreams often feel immersive and believable, lucid dreaming offers a unique blend of awareness and control. In some lucid dreams, Individuals can manipulate the dream environment, change their surroundings, interact with dream characters, or even fly. In other cases, the dreamer may merely recognize that they are dreaming without influencing the narrative or environment. Lucid dreaming is not a new concept. Cultures around the world have long embraced the idea of becoming conscious within dreams. Ancient texts such as Buddhist and Hindu scriptures often describe dream states and practices that resemble modern lucid dreaming. In Tibetan Buddhism, practitioners engage in a form of meditation known as dream yoga, designed to cultivate awareness during dreams to foster spiritual development. Indigenous peoples, including the Sainwa of Malaysia, have historically valued dreams as essential to personal and communal well-being. The Sainwa placed great emphasis on using dreams, including lucid dreams, for problem-solving and fostering social harmony. Their dream practices were believed to help guide decisions and actions in waking life. In Western thought, the concept of lucid dreaming gained attention in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. One of the first researchers to write extensively about lucid dreaming was Dutch psychiatrist Frederick Van Eden, who coined the term lucid dreaming in 1913. His work laid the groundwork for subsequent research and public interest in the phenomenon. Modern scientific study of lucid dreaming began in earnest during the 1970s and 1980s. Researchers like Keith Hearn and Stephen LaBerge were pivotal figures in validating lucid dreaming through rigorous experimental methods. In 1975, Hearn conducted the first recorded experiment using rapid eye movement sleep to confirm the occurrence of lucid dreams. A key aspect of this research involved having subjects signal their awareness by making specific eye movements during REM sleep, which is a period when most vivid dreams occur. Stephen LaBerge, a Stanford researcher, later expanded on this work, developing techniques to reliably induce and study lucid dreams. His groundbreaking research, along with subsequent studies, confirmed that lucid dreaming takes place during REM sleep. It also suggested that lucid dreamers exhibit unique brainwave patterns and levels of neurological activity compared to non-lucid dreamers. Neuroscience has revealed fascinating insights into what happens in the brain during lucid dreaming. Functional magnetic resonance imaging and electroencephalography studies have shown that lucid dreaming activates different regions of the brain, including areas responsible for self-awareness and executive control. The prefrontal cortex, which governs self-awareness, logical reasoning, and decision-making, is more active during lucid dreams than in non-lucid dreams. This part of the brain is typically inactive during regular dreaming, explaining why most people cannot critically evaluate their dream content while it is happening. 
The parietal lobes, which play a role in processing sensory information and spatial awareness, also show increased activity during lucid dreaming, enabling dreamers to become more conscious of their surroundings and bodies within the dream. The occipital lobes, responsible for visual processing, are highly active during all types of dreams, explaining why visual experiences can feel incredibly vivid and lifelike in lucid and non-lucid states alike. While some people experience lucid dreams spontaneously, others need to develop techniques and habits to reliably enter this state of awareness. Lucid dreaming is a skill that can be learned and refined, and there are several well-known methods to increase the likelihood of experiencing lucid dreams. Reality testing is one of the most popular techniques for inducing lucid dreaming. It involves asking yourself whether you are dreaming throughout the day. By questioning the nature of your reality and testing the environment around you, you train your mind to become more critical and reflective, increasing the chances of doing so during a dream. Common reality tests include pinching your nose and trying to breathe through it. In a dream, you'll often still be able to breathe. Looking at a clock or text and then looking away. In dreams, text and numbers often appear distorted or change when looked at again trying to push your finger through your hand. In the dream world, the rules of physics don't apply, so this might succeed. The goal is to develop a habit of checking your reality during waking hours, which will eventually carry over into your dreams, leading to the realization that you are dreaming. Mild, mnemonic induction of lucid dreams. The mild technique, developed by Stephen LeBurge, involves using memory and intention to trigger a lucid dream. Before falling asleep, you focus on your intention to realize that you are dreaming. You may repeat affirmations like, Tonight, I will recognize that I'm dreaming as you drift off. The idea is to implant this intention into your subconscious so that you recognize dream signs while asleep. Another key part of mild is recalling a recent dream and imagining how it would have been different if you had realized you were dreaming. By mentally rehearsing this process, you reinforce the habit of becoming aware during dreams. Wild, wake-induced lucid dreaming. Wild is a more advanced technique that involves consciously entering a dream from the waking state without losing awareness. This method often requires practicing deep relaxation or meditation to maintain mental clarity as your body transitions into sleep. As you lie still, focused on remaining conscious, you may experience sleep paralysis, a state where the body is immobile but the mind remains awake, and hypnagogic imagery, the vivid visuals that occur as you fall asleep. By staying calm and observing these sensations, you can eventually slip directly into a lucid dream. WBTB, wake back to bed. WBTB is a technique that takes advantage of REM sleep cycles. It involves waking up after four to six hours of sleep, staying awake for about 20 to 30 minutes, often by reading about lucid dreaming or performing reality checks, and then returning to bed. Since REM periods are longer and more intense in the later stages of sleep, this method increases the likelihood of entering a dream consciously. Lucid dreaming is more than just an intriguing phenomenon. It has a wide range of potential benefits for mental, emotional, and even physical well-being. Many artists, scientists, and inventors have tapped into lucid dreams as a source of inspiration and creative problem solving. For instance, the famous surrealist painter Salvador Dali reportedly used lucid dreams to cultivate his bizarre, dreamlike imagery. Similarly, Scientists such as Nikola Tesla and Albert Einstein were known to explore ideas through dreams. Since dreams are not bound by the constraints of reality, they can offer a novel perspective on problems that seem insurmountable in waking life. Lucid dreaming allows individuals to actively engage with their subconscious mind, where creative ideas and solutions often originate. One of the most therapeutic applications of lucid dreaming 
is its ability to help people overcome recurrent nightmares, especially those associated with trauma or anxiety. By becoming aware that they are dreaming, individuals can confront and change the outcome of their nightmares. They might choose to confront a feared character, alter the dream's setting, or simply wake up. This sense of control can help reduce the frequency and intensity of nightmares. Lucid dreams can be a powerful tool for emotional healing and personal growth. By interacting with the dream world and its symbolic representations of fears, desires, or unresolved emotions, dreamers can gain insights into their inner lives. The dream environment provides a safe space to work through complex emotions, experiment with new behaviors, or confront repressed aspects of the psyche. While lucid dreaming is generally considered safe, there are potential risks, particularly for individuals prone to certain psychological conditions. Sleep paralysis can occur when a person becomes aware while their body is still in a state of sleep-induced paralysis. This can happen during the transition between wakefulness and sleep. While sleep paralysis is a natural part of REM sleep, to prevent the body from acting out dreams, becoming aware during this stage can be frightening. Some individuals report feeling as though they are being watched or held down, leading to intense fear or panic. Lucid dreaming may cause confusion or dissociation for some individuals, particularly those who have difficulty distinguishing between dream and reality. This can be especially concerning for individuals with certain mental health disorders, such as schizophrenia or depersonalization derealization disorder, where the boundaries between reality and imagination may already be blurred. For these individuals, engaging in frequent lucid dreaming might exacerbate feelings of disconnection from reality. Although lucid dreaming can be exhilarating, frequent attempts to induce it might disrupt regular sleep patterns. Techniques like wake back to bed and wake-induced lucid dreaming often involve waking up during the night or requiring heightened mental alertness during sleep onset, which could lead to sleep deprivation or poor quality sleep. Over time, disrupted sleep can have negative effects on mental and physical health, including cognitive decline, mood disorders, and immune dysfunction. Some people become so enamored with the possibilities of lucid dreaming that they attempt to spend as much time as possible in their lucid dream worlds. This can lead to an unhealthy reliance on lucid dreams as an escape from real-life challenges, potentially preventing individuals from dealing with important issues in their waking lives. The pursuit of constant dream control may also decrease the enjoyment and acceptance of spontaneous dreams, which can hold important subconscious messages. Psychology has long been interested in dreams and their meanings. Sigmund Freud and Carl Jung, two towering figures in early psychoanalysis, both saw dreams as a window into the unconscious mind. For Freud, dreams were often the manifestation of repressed desires, while Jung saw them as expressions of archetypal symbols and the collective unconscious. Lucid dreaming, with its combination of conscious control and unconscious imagery, offers a unique opportunity for psychological exploration. Contemporary psychologists and researchers view lucid dreaming as a potential tool for therapeutic interventions. Lucid dreaming therapy has been used to treat anxiety disorders, PTSD, and recurrent nightmares. By consciously altering the dream scenario, patients can reduce their fear responses and gain a sense of mastery over their emotions. Cognitive Behavioral Approaches Lucid dreaming allows individuals to practice and rehearse behaviors or confront fears in a safe, imaginary environment. For example, someone with social anxiety might use lucid dreams to practice social interactions or overcoming phobias. Exploring the self, lucid dreams offer a direct line to the unconscious mind. Some psychologists encourage individuals to use lucid dreaming to communicate with symbolic representations of themselves or unresolved aspects of their psyche. 
by interacting with dream characters or exploring dream environments. Individuals can gain insights into their motivations, fears, and desires. In recent years, technological advances have made it easier for people to explore and enhance their lucid dreaming experiences. Several tools, gadgets, and supplements have been developed to aid in the induction of lucid dreams. Lucid dreaming masks are wearable devices designed to help individuals achieve lucidity by detecting when they enter REM sleep. These masks typically work by emitting light or sound cues during REM sleep to remind the wearer that they are dreaming. The idea is that these sensory stimuli will appear within the dream, prompting the dreamer to realize they are in a dream state. There are several smartphone apps available that aim to facilitate lucid dreaming by promoting reality testing, setting reminders, or tracking sleep patterns. Some apps use soundscapes or binaural beats to induce relaxation or stimulate certain brainwave frequencies associated with lucid dreaming. Certain supplements are believed to enhance the likelihood of lucid dreaming. Some of the most common include galantamine, a cognitive enhancer often used for Alzheimer's disease. Galantamine increases the activity of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter that plays a role in REM sleep. Studies have shown that galantamine can significantly increase the chances of having a lucid dream. Choline, another supplement that influences acetylcholine levels. Choline can support memory function and potentially improve dream recall and lucidity. Mugwort, an herb traditionally used in dream rituals. Mugwort is believed to enhance dream vividness and recall, though scientific evidence supporting its efficacy is limited. Lucid dreaming represents one of the most fascinating frontiers in human consciousness. The ability to become aware within a dream opens up endless possibilities for creativity, self-exploration, and psychological growth. Whether you're seeking to conquer your fears, solve problems, or simply explore fantastical worlds, lucid dreaming offers a unique avenue for personal discovery. As scientific research continues to uncover the mechanisms and benefits of lucid dreaming, we can expect new insights into how the mind works during sleep and how we can harness the dream state for personal and therapeutic purposes. While lucid dreaming is not without risks, with careful practice and balanced approaches, it can be a transformative tool for understanding and enriching the human experience. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please remember to like and subscribe.